I just really wanted to carry that tradition that my grandfathers had, so that really pushed me to practice and play. I'm Jordan Daniels, I'm 16 years old, and I'm a four-time Saskatchewan Championship fiddler. My family has had a long history of music in it. Both of my great-grandfathers had played fiddle, and so growing up I kind of heard a little bit about them playing fiddle, and I just kind of want to get into it, I guess, and I asked for a fiddle for Christmas for my cook and I got one, and it all took off from there. It was hard for me because I kind of wanted to give up at first because I wasn't really going, going to, going anywhere. What song was that? I think my attitude just changed. Once I figured it out and it all started rolling, then I just, I just liked it. I just kept going with it. This is my main fiddle. This is my nicest fiddle. This is one I play all the time. It was bo originally bought by my great uncle Ruben and my great uncle Ruben played the fiddle too and when he passed well he passed away before I was born so I never got to meet him but he played this fiddle and it was cool to play it on something that has been played by someone before me like my uncle it kind of gives that it also gives that connection this is one of my prized possessions I guess um, this is a Norwegian Hardanger fiddle and it has, I guess it has more of a special, it's more special to me because it's Norwegian, I'm, I'm also Norwegian too. So that's the big part about it. In my case, I always have pictures, these two, these two pictures are of my Musham Wilfred playing fiddle and my Musham Lawrence. And I've always had these two in here, in my case for, I, I don't know, ever since I got the case, I think I put these in here and they, come around with me everywhere I go. And I wanted them in there because it always reminded me that this is, this is where, that's where I came from. That those are the people who got me into this even though I never met them. When it's tough, I guess, I guess I kind of look at them for inspiration because if it wasn't for them, then I wouldn't be in the slot that I would be. Even though I never met them, I still feel like I did in some, in a way, in some way or shape that I met them and they're with me. I hope to teach more people. I hope to pass down what I know to other, to children, to kids and whoever wants to learn it, to keep the fiddling, keep the fiddling going.